uh, I appreciate the fact and um, that we have a chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff that also has a master's degree in literature, Irish literature at that. Um, the objectives of this military action that have been stated is you know, to hold accountable, you know, degrade ability, and deter future action. And you know, the associated targeting with those um, objectives. The, would this military action, militarily speaking, from your perspective, constitute war? Well, as you know, Congressman, the, the, the decision on whether something rises to the level of war is actually one that's made collaboratively between the Commander in Chief and the Congress of the United States. I think uh, militarily, it's hard, it would be. Um, it would be hard for me to say that this is other than an act of war, but the problem with that characterization is that war has this image of being a campaign over an extended protracted period of time until someone plants a flag or someone surrenders. And, and I want to make it clear, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about something very limited to address the specific issue of the use of chemical weapons. The, if we take these actions, um, you know, trying to achieve the objectives that you stated, and the Syrians punch back. The um, you know, that escalation. Um, you know, I'm sure we can degrade their ability to punch back. I'm sure that you have planned for contingencies of them punching back, but you know, there is always the chance that they can punch back, and it can hurt. Um, the, you know, I think about the British in the Falklands, and uh, they had tremendous overpowering strength, and all of a sudden they found that you know, there were some weaknesses there, there was a hole in defenses, and they lost a capital ship. Um, and that could happen to us. If, if the Syrians punch back and are successful, the, would that be closer to a definition of war? Well, I'm not sure that their reaction to our action and our reaction to that, you know, I mean, this gets into a cycle. Um, and, and, I, and again, I'm, I, it's not the chairman of the Joint Chiefs that, that, that defines or declares war. But if you're asking me, are we prepared for retaliation, we are as well prepared as we possibly could be. The, so we're pre certainly we're prepared for any retaliation. And if there was retaliation, um, you know, we would have to answer that immediately. I don't, you know, uh, Congressman, I, I wouldn't make that conclusion. I mean, I, you know, I think there is, there's no automaticity to anything um, in, in conflict, at least from my perspective. I think, you know, I think that, uh, that we would certainly have the ability to control our response on our terms. Uh, so I wouldn't conclude that this resolution starts a process that you, that you or the President lose control of. The military speaking, is Russia still a superpower? Uh, I think uh, the answer to that question is when you look at the instruments of power, look at ourselves. So it's a combination of military, diplomatic, and economic power that defines us as a quote-unquote superpower. I think that the, uh, Russia still possesses elements that would qualify them to join the club of superpowers. They still have an, an incredible strategic arsenal, but conventionally, I, I wouldn't put them in that class. And so I think uh, there's parts of their apparatus that rise to that level. What if, you know, obviously, I mean, we all know that Syria and Russia are close allies, and Syria is Russia's last ally in the Middle East. Syria has the only... Um, Russian military basis, basis, base outside of Russia. The, um, if Russia decided to strike at us in that theater, um, what are the top three options that they would have um, to strike us in retaliation for us striking their closest ally? You know, you know Congressman, I'm going to uh, suggest that it wouldn't be helpful uh, in this setting to have a uh, discussion about that kind of hypothetical, but I do have some views about it that I could share in a classified environment. But we can certainly say that Russia would have options to strike us um, in that theater um, in retaliation for us striking 
They're Russia allies. has capabilities that range from the asymmetric, including cyber, all the way up through strategic nuclear weapons. And, and uh, again, it wouldn't be helpful in this setting to speculate about that. Yes, sir. Thank Brad, you. Brad Snyder of Illinois. Thank you. And, and I want to thank